Hello everybody and welcome to another Ultra Challenge! It is time. It is time I answer Blue Magus' challenge. Blue Magus' request, in fact. That's what I'm gonna call this series, you know, no bullshit. This... Basically, this challenge has been thrust upon me by Blue Magus himself. Uh... He, uh, gave me this game and, uh... I was like, okay, I'm up for it. Uh, I've done some research and uh, I figured out what to do, but I'm gonna unpause the game real quick because uh, check this out That's how you know this game is real. This is for Halloween boys All right, uh, do I want to watch the story or not watch the story? Okay, whatever. This is Chakun The forever man this is Chakun the forever man uh Sure, that's a better control scheme. Alright, so basically the story is, like, this guy was, like, a super good hunt, was a super good fighter dude, and, um... Oh my god, I gotta remember the controls. But, uh, anyway, uh, he was such a good fighter that one day he just decided to challenge death to a fight because he wanted to. I'm also gonna go to the fire level first. But, um, anyway, he's like, I'm gonna fight you, death. And also we're fighting Elkenrod. Because obviously, but we're just here for the weapon. Uh, anyway, um, so basically, um, Death punished this guy by making it to where um, he cannot uh, die until all evil is defeated. Which at that point, like, if Chakin himself became evil, wouldn't that mean he'd be completely immortal? I don't know. I might just be making an oversight here, but who knows. Uh, anyway, uh, this game is a side-scrolling... Yeah, just a side-scrolling action game, I suppose. And, um... It has a reputation for being brutally hard! <laughs> but, you know what I, I said to you, Danny? I said I would be up to the challenge, and, uh... Turns out, I'm just letting the game horribly destroy me. Uh, but anyway, I'm just gonna try to beat it. You know, no BS, no anything, you know, no goofy shit, you know. You know, this is all for the KD. This is... Because we've got a lead right now. Oh, come on. We've got a positive win-loss win ratio. God damn it! That jump is... Practically impossible to, to time. Alright, so it's this wall you want to go through for the potions. Alright, makes sense for me. Alright, yeah. Basically, this guy is not only a great, um, so weapons fighter, but also a good, um, alchemist. He's an alchem- Okay, there was a bug on me. I don't know if that was a mosquito or what, but, uh, I feel like I just lost some blood right there. So, uh, thanks, bugs, for being the, uh, god, I can't fight these guys without hurting myself. There you go. Alright, but anyway, uh, if you jump again at the apex of your jump, uh... Alright, that's not a door, apparently. What the... Whoa! No! God damn. I have to try to beat this stage, dude. Alright, so basically, um, there's three levels in the, um... And the first plane. There's two planes of existence. There's the first plane. Are you yes. Cucambers, please. Right. 
Nope. That one's off rhythm just to be annoying. Wow, they really could chase you throughout the whole level. Okay. I have done some practice for this game. But clearly it's not enough. At least I can go and re-grab those potions, am I right? Alright. Alright. I still want cucumbers. <laughs> okay, uh-oh. There we go, that's how you deal with those guys. Whoa, I didn't realize they breathed Phyros at you. Can I jump through this wall? No, okay. This game is all about like secrets and booby traps and whatnot. Basically, if you're not a master of the level design, you're not beating this game. Like this is like, a lot of people love to compare old games to Dark Souls now, but this is like literally like 90s Dark Souls right here. Cause like, the dude looks like something ripped out of a From Software game. Like, Chalkin looks like that. God! These Wraith things always hurt me, no matter what I do. And then I have no health when I get to this freaking part. Can I... And then I have no clue what these spells do. No, I shouldn't have done the second jump. Alright, I'm gonna get hurt no matter- Or die! I can die! That's good too. <laughs> Am I literally gonna spend all my time trying to beat the first level? The, the problem is, this level goes on for an eternity. Oh, cool. Okay! I killed them without taking a hit. Fuck the bats. Straight fuck the bats. Alright, flashing red stuff in a fire level does not scream good. Nope. Oh, now they're in sync with each other! That one's just- that's just- that hurts me every time because it's straight bullshit. All right, go through this wall, get some potions. I want to figure out if there's one that can restore your health. Oh. This is a short... This may be a death trap or a shortcut. I feel like I just went here for a potion, so... Realistically, I made no progress. Okay. This is a Metroid ass jumping we got here. God! These swords suck ass! So basically, I've made no progress. So it's always down forward. Yeah, if you push down and jump, he just does a weird boppy thing. Oh, okay. I don't know how much that makes sense, but... 
Oh, are you- are you fucking kidding me? I only have one skull left. Or fuck me, never mind, I'm not gonna get there. No! Freaking fire! There's so much fire! God! You need all the health you can for that stupid area. Alright, both of you took a hit. Oh! Never mind! You just passed straight through the sword! You put a hitbox in a sword that doesn't work. Okay, the hitboxes are straight jank in this game. They are straight jank. They're terrible. <laughs> they freaking suck! But I think I did agree to him that, like, if I pl at least, like, try to play this game, that he'll review it. So, ugh, there's no way. I've already taken so many hits. This level is impossible. This first level is straight impossible to beat. And the thing is, you need the weapon out of this area to make the next level you're supposed to play, the Earth level, a lot easier. Because then you get the scythe here. Which, are you fucking serious with this shit? The hitboxes in this game are straight ass. The hitboxes are straight ass. At this point, I already have, I already have like four of each potion. Like, I may as well just... Okay, I have plasma swords now. I still hurt myself. I wanted to figure out if one of them could restore health. Okay, Sword Slash insta-kills them. Oh, if you just touch it, you get hurt. No! God! Freaking skull fire thing! There! Thank you! Really? I finally get a perfect run on that stage, and then you just kick me in the balls like that? <sighs> this isn't going anywhere. Like, I'd rather just take the loss. I'd rather just take the loss right now. Like, I swear to God, I can't do this. This first level is so annoying, and you know what? It burns up all of my time for the next stage. So I may as well just reset the game at this point. I may as well just reset every single dot time I die on this stage. Because there's literally no reason to continue if you... The thing is, I have beaten some stages in this before. Like, I did beat some of the Earth level stages and some of the Water level stages. Like, the only reason I read a guide... That makes you go here first. Okay, I gotta figure out where save state and load states are, because there's, like, there's no way I'm gonna go through resetting the game over and over and over. So, uh, F5 is save, F8 is load. Okay, there. I caught you doing it in Aladdin, that, in Magus. I caught you doing this in Aladdin. You know, I'm just doing this for progress's sake. Like, I'm not gonna use it throughout the stage, because fucking... Then at that point, then I'll just auto-give myself the loss. Okay. 
at least half a freaking skull is better than one. One whole skull. No! Err! No. You just have to mess around with these things. Shotgun Street looks like fiddlesticks from... I'm dead. Oh. Are, are you serious? Are you serious right now? I'm also just throwing myself in the line. No, uh-uh. That was bullshit. I'm gonna reset the load. Basically, if I don't think the run is good enough, I'm gonna reset the stage. So basically, I'm gonna spend one episode on this one stage. Although, granted, this probably, in my opinion, is the hardest stage of the, um... Of the, um... Elemental plane levels? I don't know if I'm playing the elemental plane or the... Terrarial plane. Either one. I think you're in the elemental one first. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know which plane you're in first. But I know it's elemental and terrarial. So you just gotta pray to God that these fires don't... Don't do that shit. Okay, just get over there. God, that one always hurts me! Always! Okay, I need to go in here so I can grab the potions. Because unless you don't have the... Unless you have the right potion in one of the stages, like, the second water level, like, you're not beating the stage. Alright. Alright, screw the potion. I don't want to take damage. Alright, F the bats. Wait, that's just for a potion, right? So wouldn't I be better just going up here? Yeah, it would be better just going up here. Or the guy can spawn right now. And then the other guy can spawn right after! This is bullshit! Okay, I'm getting better at killing those dudes. Oh, oh, but there's the other one from down there, so then I get hurt on that guy no matter what. This fucking game can kill- can go die. No! Okay. No. I'd yell no just to get my point across. Okay. Hey! Hey! No! Okay, I have more health in this area than I usually do, so I'm glad about that. Okay, there. Duck under the fires. Alright, that's how you get the Razy Bobbers. And then this one, are you? Just go down. Oh my god. Okay, I have more health than usual for this fast one. Okay, crouch. Okay, I didn't get hurt. That one's gonna fu fuck. Yes! Yeah, I got the scythe. Yes, I'll save state after every level. Because there's no reason to play them again. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'm gonna try an Earth stage. Just to try to make up for it. Okay, challenge isn't over. Like, this might bleed into November. Which, if it does, I'm sorry. But, you know, I... Okay, you go up there. So if you don't know the spin jump, you're not making making it up. Where the fuck? Okay. There you go. Alright. There we go. Her hive is growing, burrowing deeper and deeper into the earth. As her children are born, her evil powers grow stronger. No force can keep me from reaching her lair. I am coming for you now, Spider Queen. Oh, I should have saved. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna load out of there. Just to save myself the trouble of having to walk back over and over. And then I don't know what potions. I don't think you need any potions. Like, So then after that, you get the... Um, okay. And then I want to save here. And then hop into the Spider Queen stage. There you go. There. I saved you guys the trouble. Alright. I don't like this level either. Does it start off with this? Yes, it does. Oh, I don't like the spiders either. Well, then again, this is the Spider Queen stage, but like... So let's just go grab that potion, because I want a potion, and then- OH JESUS! Mm -hmm. 
So you have to attack those things to get them to... Go backwards. Oh, I hate the spiders. You have to be constantly aware of your environment at all times. Oh, come on! Straight bullshit hits. Are you... Are, Some of the damage you get in this game is just straight bullshit. Alright. Oh my... How the... Oh, and they punish you with a spider every single time you fall. Alright. You literally do this just for one potion. You can't ever kill these things, by the way. Just letting you know. God, I try... Oh my god, I try to hit these spiders. It doesn't work. Urgh! Come on! Doesn't hit them easier. Right. And I may as well just load the state every time so that I save the time in the stage. Yeah, I think if this game takes too long in like five episodes like either i'll upload it um tuesday thursday or uh yeah i may as well just upload it tuesday thursday to try to keep it in october i want the roll man honestly although although i would love to see an although this um in october i would love to see an angry video game nerd episode about this game too for halloween just because this game fits halloween so hard Oh my god, I hate these spiders. Every time you see a spider, you have to jump. Just to prevent it from shooting you. Because these spiders have ammo. God! Are you serious? Alright, and then they can just cheat them in two through the platforms. Don't attack the spiders. Just don't attack them. There's pretty much no reason to attack them. And then, one potion I can just get in any other stage. I may as well just not waste my time over it. I hate this game's bullshit. I hate this. What? It hurt me after I attacked it? I hate this game. I hate this game. Oh my god, again. It did the... Every time you fail at that, you have to do this. Okay. I see where you're coming from, Chakan. Ah, get on the... Give me the barest amount of space to make any kind of jump. No! God! Maybe that's like a high jump would help you so that you could just go through here and not have to do that stupid bullshit jump. God, that jump sucks. It's so tight. It's tighter than any tight thing. It's the tightest thing in the world. This is not even me getting hurt by enemies. Like, this is not... Well, then again, I do hate how you get the spin jump. Because the only way you get the spin jump is by... Are you serious? Are you serious with this jump? I can't do it. I can't do it. Either I'm doing it totally wrong. Like, you know what I'm going to try to do, actually? I'm going to try to do that roll thing. Across it. Or I can kill my or I can kill myself in the process. This episode's been twenty minutes. It's been yeah, about twenty-five minutes. Just just so I can get two weapons. Just so I can get two weapons. Two weapons. And I fall before I can even get the first potion. I mean both of those are green potions. I already have one of each. 
then the other levels love to shower you in potions. Well, they don't shower you in potions, but... They can't... Oh, the spiders! You can't... You can't hit them without hurting yourself. You can't hit them without hurting yourself. It's straight luck if you can kill them. This part is just an endurance run. Okay, here we go. Back to this stupid frickin' jump. I'm gonna try this one more time, and if I can't get it, I'll just call it an episode and try again next episode. No, no! It's too low! God! The platform I'm trying to jump off of is too low to roll down. The other one... So then I'll be stuck on the other one, which means if I don't do a spin jump in the right times, I fall through. Why is this possible? Like, why did you have to put this guy there? Thank you. And of course you put spiders here. Why, why wouldn't you put spiders here? Look at this! Look at that hitbox bullshit! Oh my god, you freaking put the sword down, and instead of just killing the spider, it goes through your sword and hurts you. Like, this game is about giving you the most painful experience possible. I can't! Like, seriously, these spiders are the worst enemies so far. Like, they're even worse than the stupid wraith guys. Because at least those have a strategy. These things are practically luck-based. God! I lose half my health on those... On these fucking spiders. Half my health. Before I get to this stupid jump. Which is totally broken to begin with. Because that's also luck-based. If you miss this jump, you get hurt by one of the, the one of these things. Okay. I've gotten a strategy. I'm betting this is the end. Kidding. There. There. The weapon should be right here. Oh yeah, you can just skip that thing. There you go. The axe. Beautiful. Okay. So now I think they just want you to keep continuing through the Earth stages. So, next time on Chuckin' the Forever Man, we are going to beat the Earth stages and try to get to the Water stages. I feel that's what we're going to do. So, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.